Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk Shia. And this is a part of our Africa Day Dialogues. It's been a great day so far, and I'm really pleased as part of our contribution, Guardians of the Afro Realm. Brother Derek Clement, the star of this show, you've seen him many, many times across the whole of the social media. And of course, we now talk about the metaverse. So Brother Derek, I hope all is well. Oh, couldn't be. It's fabulous, Brother Russus. I'm just fabulous. Excellent. And then we've got Molly, who we now have named Queen of Sheer. Molly is <laughs> from Sheer class, and we're going to be hearing from Molly. We also have Dr. Laura Thompson, who's our Queen of Broadcasting. So we're broadcasting through her Lighthouse Broadcast even Broadcasting TV system, which includes Roku, for those of you in, in Africa, also Apple TV and the, the Light broad, Broadcasting System itself. So I'm really pleased. And of course, as usual, we will have Fresh FM Radio London listeners to this and our, our links for all the Facebook groups. So we're going to get started. And our Let's, let's Talk Sheer is going to be very much along the, the usual lines that you'll see uh, Derek and myself talking. And, you know, we always talk about expert information, maintenance advice, and professional tips, professional insights. And we're really going to talk about Shear, its properties for our well-being, because we're very much about the well-being. We'll talk about some of the underlying conditions people may have as well. And of course, another great area in terms of the nutrients and all those good things and the properties of shear. We'll have a dialogue on that and we'll have a time uh, where we can speak to one or two of our other guests who are on the platform. So I'm gonna to go to Brother Derek to start off and just give us the usual um, uh, dialogue. And all of this is being sponsored by Derek Clement Hair Care System and the K77 uh, men's range. Both ranges are being formulated formulated by Derek Clement. Brother Derek, over to you. Right, guys, good evening. Absolute pleasure uh, being on this platform tonight for the people across the planet, so to speak. Um, so, right, so I've had the privilege of working with the legendary Winston Isaacs, uh, uh, hairdresser extraordinaire. He's since passed, however, and I've been doing hairdressing for as uh, since 1976, actually. And fast forward. Now, we are in really critical times and, 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 and our people are concerned about what goes in the bodies and what goes on the hair. And since I'm a hairdresser, of course, my main focus would be on hairdressing. And Cher couldn't have come at a better time. Um, we talk about in our industry, we talk about sustainability, we talk about uh, phytonutrients, we talk about plant-based. Um, and we are really um, sort of fired up about ensuring that our customers' hair and our people's hair are fed with the right uh, ingredients, uh, the right nutrients. And it so happened that we are a big, big supporter of share. And of course, we also use Jamaican black castor oil. And the reason why is because the, in what share brings to our product range is, is critical in terms of the well-being of our people's hair and their health. And so we talk about share having, in my opinion, share is like this sort of the elixir of, of hair foods. It has the, it's, 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 anti, it's, it's anti-carcinogenic, it's antimicrobial, it's antibacterial, it's antifungal. It's also food, and, um, and which ties into our philosophy about hair products being that we view hair growth and hair health coming from a cellular perspective. We don't promote um, anything outside uh, that as it's, 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 it's gonna be magical. We tell our clients, focus on the inside. Hair growth is holistic. So whatever you do on the inside will definitely manifest on the outside. 
And so that being said, we are a big supporter. It's an integral, integral part of what we do. We are a big supporter of SHARE and its wonderful properties. Yes, guys, that's my contribution. I think that's wonderful. Thank you, uh, Dr. And Laura. I th I'll just say something briefly. The reason I think it's wonderful is when I went to Nigeria, there's something about these head, well, this head wrap comes from Nigeria. Somebody actually made it for me. But I heard the story about how sometimes the women they, they will make these and they'll make them elaborate because of sometimes it's the shame of what happened by not using natural hair products. And so their hair gets damaged with the weave and that sort of thing. And so this is being used to cover it up. When, when, I, when I came with my hair, they, could, they were amazed that this was my hair. So I'm I'm very pleased that you have natural products that um, may be able to help the diaspora and get us all back together the way we were the way we were meant to be. These are beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but um, I was told. I'm only telling you what I was told um, when I went to Owari and Okiwi. So yes, excellent. No, I think you're perfectly right, uh, Dr. Laura. I think it's important, it's incumbent that we um, go back to get it. We talk about Sankofa, so we go back to get it. And the best place to go back is to go back to our cultural heritage and to use what our ancestors used in the past. We know the story, so we, don't, we, we won't go there, but we understand and we know the story and what has happened as a result to our people and their hair. And unfortunately, there's this sort of misconception that Afro hair, black hair doesn't grow. Well, that's the biggest, that is one of the biggest misconception ever because Afro hair grows more than anybody else's hair that grows. And people should not get confused with the fact that Afro hair has this amazing elasticity property. It curls back into itself for obvious reasons. Um, yes, it's uh, very interesting, Brother Derek and uh, my sister with the African rap. Can I just uh, correct a misunderstanding they've given to my sister when she visited Oweri? Head uh, rap, as I have on here, are actually part of uh, the Yoruba people's cultural heritage. So they're not trying to hide any, they have issues with their hairline because of the hairstyles. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, them covering up their head. I just wanted to make that clear so my sister knows the origin of, is, is, is a symbol of a woman's crown, especially a married woman, you know? So let's just uh, park that there. Uh, thank you, Brother Derek, about your Derek um, Clement hair system, which is fantastic and is natural based. As you well know, I need to tell you, um, African families, West Africans particularly, they've been using share for thousands of years. And they've been using it for their skin, their hair. It used to be a superfood. They used to cook with share. We don't have that in the recent now, but uh, it's something we want to take back and that would fitting very well with the wellness agenda as well. Um, I would, I would uh, and uh, somebody have just said they still do, I, I take it that they still use it for food. That's what uh, that person's probably contributing, but we'll come back to that. I'll just say a little bit about Share Class. Share Class is a natural skincare product that's based in the United Kingdom. And uh, like uh, Brother Derek's system, we also have share as the number one ingredient in most of our in our hair food. We also have a hair food that's made up with a majority share. I think somebody said they couldn't hear us, so I, I, they might have left. But um, I, I hope others can hear us. Um, and uh, for share class, we are looking at how we can use share in an innovative way where we could use it in pharmaceuticals, where we could use it in the food industry, 
where we could use it because this is Africa Day. How can we add value to the share that's produced in Africa to bring economic well-being to the nation, to bring personal well-being to the people, and to add additional value as a source of a superfood that we have in addition to the cocoa and all the other many superfoods that we currently have in our, as part of our range of products. So that would be my own initial conversation about SHARE. And of course, SHARE Nigeria is a, is a, is a work for those of us of Nigerian heritage, we know the richness in the share that's produced in um, Nigeria. Not many people are aware of that. Not many people are aware of that. And it's important that people become more aware of it and people use it for their daily uh, needs and for their uh, particular challenges that they have. So that's uh, the reason why share butter in Nigeria is something of significance and something that we have to we, we have to focus on and we have to make sure that people have an understanding of where share comes from it comes from the share knot and it's processed and we have quality assurance to make sure that what uh, active ingredients in that that develops our hair continues to be the case so that's um, that's basically part of what the share story is about. That's, um, that's, that's, the, that's the agenda of, of the share as it is. Wonderful. So that's, um, I don't know what else, uh, but that Derek would like me to say, I'm happy to continue with that uh, dialogue. Um, as as required. Yes, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just wonderful, um, you know, Molly. Um, as you said earlier on, I mean, it's it's, it's a superfood, and um, part of our again our philosophy is that we we uh, encourage people to understand that uh, it's what you eat uh, that, that's going to go towards healing and 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 helping your hair. And, and Shea has the quality, the kind of food base. It's 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 phytonutrients. It's plant based. It's 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 it has all the ingredients that that will help to improve our people's hair. Okay, um, Derek, if we bring uh, Laura in now at this point, Laura, be interested in your perspective on what you've heard from both Derek and um, Molly this evening. Well. Um... Mo Molly, Molly corrected me. Um, first off, we we had we had a nice brief discussion about oh. um, about head wrap and hair products. Um, I made it. I made a general comment, but it really was more specific to an ind two individuals that I spoke to in Okigwe when I went to Okigwe after passing through Oweri, and mm. they were talking about my hair. Um, I believe that the story, not only the story of these products and their natural, uh, where the, their natural essence, where they come from, but even the story of how to properly wrap okay. the, ra the wraps needs to be something that is continuously documented and carried all the way throughout our history. Um, so that we can get back to the source. And I'm, all, I'm always going to say this, one of the ways that we really can do this is by dealing with the historical context, um, that carrying that discussion in knowledge-based systems, moving those knowledge-based systems beyond the Web2 environment into the metaverse environment and have people actually participate in virtual environments on how this should be done so that it is never forgotten. And we never have any situations mm. where we don't know what to do with our hair and we're relying on mm. other people to tell us what to do with our hair. Mm. Um, I, I can speak a lot, but I won't, about mm. um, not many black owned 
uh, hair establishments in the United States. We're having to go to other cultures mm. to get our products. Mm. And that's, we, we, we are working hard to reverse that. And so Derek standing up and um, Shay class standing up to begin that process is excellent. I'm happy to broadcast that on Lighthouse Broadcasting. Yeah. Um, Derek, if you have a website or anything, yeah. um, please let me know. Um, Shay has her website as, well, I say Shay Class as www.shayclass.com. <laughs> um, this is being streamed on multiple networks, even beyond Facebook. And we need to get the word out there no, so I, that people absolutely. know what to do. Absolutely. I mean- And where to go. The, the point is really in the in the sense you're talking on what's um, can be a sensitive issue. It's 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 our community's own ethical behaviour and us making the choice about how we provide good services to ourselves and how we we make and provide you know products that are good for our well being. And having provided them, we actually are the ones who use them. We're the ones who sell them. And then we also contribute to the, the, to the development of young people in terms of training and development. So, so some of the public discourse at the end of the day, it, it's, it's, our, it's our responsibility, however, whichever way we, we, we look at it. And um, one of the good things in terms of content uh, as you've touched on, Laura, um, Derek and myself have been working together for a number of years now. So uh, the collaboration is, is high. And I think where we are now is, is to put the uh, training videos and how, how, how to do, you know, into the metaverse space because we have the content. What we, I think the beginning to uh, develop now with yourselves and, and, and your, your platforms and bringing ours together is that uh, it help, helps us to scale up, scale up and have an impact to challenge our own community's ethical behavior in terms of where we go to learn, where we go to get an understanding because as Derek mentioned at the beginning, he's been doing hairdressing for over 40 years and, and it's what he doesn't know about doing uh, people's hair. And there's no reason, and there's others like that. Derek is part of a network. He knows many hairdressers like himself. Who, so between them have done hundreds of thousands of people's hair. So, so it, it, it's, it's us, you know, improving our communication channels, I, I, I guess. Is, is the point, it's, it's our responsibility. So it, it's good that we uh, can start to think about the metaverse and Web3 in terms of the type of work that you're doing, which is good because a lot of the time from what I've seen colleagues at the moment, it's, it's just been more of the um, entertainment space really and, and uh, the kind of a luxurious lifestyle that may attract a uh, you know, some kind of sponsorship from a wider corporate perspective. So I think what we're doing here, we're about well-being, the community well-being, mental well-being, the importance of, of hair and you know, taking care of oneself. And it starts with those natural ingredients. So we're we're back to the land and agriculture again. And then being able to organize the supply chain with, with that from the source, which is where you know, where we kind of meet, where uh, Molly, and we've got one or two other people who we, we collaborate with. So our, our aim is to put together a cluster of people who are willing to collaborate. And, um, and we do have clinicians as part of our network as well. So I, I think it's good that we make the connection and particularly with uh, Molly's insight, both with Share the hair, but also having an appreciation of the uh, the well being needs of the community as well. So, having said that, Derek, I wonder if you could just say a few words about some some, you know, just some of the psychological impacts 
especially when uh, women, women have got underlying conditions or they're going through medication on that types of uh, those scenarios, again, where you have to give advice, what type of products that they now need to do, or they, they may now need to move away from chemically treated back to natural, they may need to do the big chop, you know, that those, that type of area, I think is <laughs> quite important. I, I can see Laura's face. <laughs> again you 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 hear the stories and you have to do the big chop so i'm gonna put that in your corner <laughs> the the hair loss in yeah. current times are, are are exponential I, i've never seen hair loss mm. on such a scale uh I, I mean, I, as i said i mean in, since I, i've started in 1976 and mm. i remember I, you know people's hair was never receding uh, recession at the temple area, recession at the sides. And now we, what we are seeing more than anything else, more than ever before, is a, a, a very peculiar um, dis-ease called CCCA, Dr. Molly would probably know what it's all about, cicatricial central centrifugal alopecia, where our women's hair is going bald. Uh, we know that, you know, food lifestyle can trigger, uh, for instance, you know, inflammation plays a massive role in triggering things like alopecia and, and, and things of that nature. But what I've noticed in the last, uh, I would say last decade, is that the number of black women who's, who are going bald at the middle of their hair, head, I've never seen this before. Um, my grandmother died at 105 and she had loads of hair. My mother is, is, is 90, she's got loads of hair and all my colleagues of the past, but lately the young generation I've, I'm seeing, but we know that is predominantly uh, has a lot to do with medication. Medication can play a, a huge role in, 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 in hair loss. Mm, stress. Um, their stress, lifestyle, side effects and so on. And of course, chemicals and the wrong ingredients. Hence the yeah. reason why Shea is such a wonderful yeah. uh, a, a, a thing to work with because it's, it, it's all natural and it's going to go towards healing our women's hair. Uh, and, it, and, and we know things like uh, sulfates and, and parabens and all those dodgy chemicals plays a huge role in, 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 in hair loss and hair breakage. So yes, um, we're definitely looking forward to working more with Shea, more with natural products, mm -hmm. more with products that are plant-based, more with products that, that are, uh, are, are, are anti-carcinogenic uh, that will help our, our women's uh, hair and well-being, the well-being of the hair. Yes, um, just before I bring in Laura, um, of course, I think it was Molly who said that, in fact, um, you know, we, we also have a baobab and, um, and of course, that that's prevalent in Nigeria as well, which was, that was surprising to hear. And um, we thought it was just came from down south. We didn't know it was in the west as well. <laughs> that's interesting. Well, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try and speak to that. Mm. Uh, can you still see me? Because I can't see myself anymore. No, no we can. <laughs> we can see you now, but we can hear you. We can hear you clearly. Thank you. Yes, Biobab is another fantastic natural product that we have in Nigeria, along with Share and all the many, I guess um, for me as a, as a believing person, uh, the, the land has been so blessed. The African continent as a whole has been blessed. But I just think uh, Nigeria has been super blessed by nature. We have the river Niger, and we have the river Benue, and what more can you want? So it's the best soil for share, it's the best soil for Bilbab, it's the best soil for Kashirina. I can go on and on about all these superfoods and we just need to get it to the global audience. Because what, let me come back to share because that's really where my passion is. For many people, they might not know from a well, wellness perspective, yeah. share, is used as an anti-inflammatory in the very olden days. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of years. Mm. Um, 
just a, as an example of an innovation we could do with SHARE, because as you well know, or some of you might know, my day job, I'm a healthcare professional. So I always have an angle of healthcare in all I do. I'll just give an example. We could use thyme oil, clove, uh, and uh, another antiseptic tea tree, mix it with this share, put it into a tube and try to use it, not as medicine, because if you're doing medicine, you need clinical trials and you need to blind study, but actually use it as within a community for some of these autoarthritis or these inflammatory responses. You know, um, Brother David talked about people's central hair going, it's partly to do with what they feed in their body as well as what they're doing to their hair. In the olden days, people just washed their hair and they dressed it as tradition. Not all this pulling of the wigs and I'm not going against them, but those are some of the contributory factors to what Brother Derek have described. So it's important that we know what the problem is for our women and for our, uh, uh, our community as a whole, so that we don't continue in the same vein. We make great strides to make sure that the beautiful hair that we have nice and curly as it is, is beautiful and can be dressed nicely without damaging the hair. So, um, yeah, so that's one aspect mm -hmm. of innovation that I think we need to explore mm -hmm. using share, aside from the food that we know and aside from the cosmetic that we know. So um, I'll, I'll leave you at that. That's some mm -hmm. good advice. And that's something, Derek, we could look at when we restart the um, maintenance advice sessions in West London, where, where we, we do a lot of these sort of um, uh, we'll be back now, now that we're kind of really out of lockdown. So it's something we could look at for, especially as we run up to winter, we could include that in some of the, um, the workshops and sessions, specifically around the, just the use of natural products in the way that, um, that uh, Molly's described. I, I mean, it still works in our favour because our products, you know, contain the good quality ingredients but I think we we, we 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 both believe it's important for the consumer to be educated and to really understand how, the best ways they can take care of their 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 hair and their scalp and of course and that does have an impact on well-being and particularly mental well-being if it's something you're very conscious of and, and we you know again it's something that we still got to be a little more, little bit more sensitive about our own community when we when we talk about these these areas. So, Laura, was there something that you wanted to say before I come back to Derek? Well, first of all, I believe that Molly is a chemist in disguise, and she probably <laughs> is a chemist. So, I'm going to no, refer to her as Doctor. Dr. Molly, yes, because she speaks, her speech betrays her. She is a chemist. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting you should say that because our favorite science in the whole wide world is chemistry. So <laughs> even though I'm not a chemist, what yes. yeah, yeah. And they and they are and they are begging people in the states to get their kids to do STEM so that they could get into chemistry and engineering and that sort of thing, science and engineering. Yeah. Um, and so what you have shared, okay, so first of all, I need to find out, and I'm also, I'm also filming some of this segment on um, Instagram so that we can get an immediate response because this, this is needed. Um, let me ask you a question. Shea class, yes. is it a classification? No, or is it a class? Share class is the name of the company, the brand Share oh, class. Share class is we coming to Dr. Molly's Share class. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, okay. that is yeah. what we are doing. High that's five. And that, that, that's class. a great, a great just, piece just of communication say, for you there. Just Molly. to say, I'm not a doctor, just to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love but, 
<laughs> good I good thinking, so Molly. Good, good <laughs> thinking, Molly. I understand why you say that. You have not said you're a doctor, okay? I'll help you reinforce that. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, but yes, um, it's interesting. I do actually, before the lockdown, we did, uh, sorry, during the lockdown, we did have uh, a session, a share class uh, Zoom session that was being created and people could come and talk. We talked about alopecia in one of them. There's a YouTube channel when we did some of the talks on what you can use share, share butter for and the value that share butter brings and also about empowering people to make their own products mm. in their own because you can't make uh, not everybody is going to go into a business mm -hmm. like share class is but people might just want to make their own different because when you make a product i'm sure brother david could agree with me you need to have a license for any deviation Mm -hmm. from one of those ingredients so if you people want to make their own it's actually important that you empower them to do that um there's an african saying since it's an african day and uh, the 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 sky is enough for the birds and none of them would uh, hit each other so long as everybody knows where they're soaring to the eagles so higher than all yeah. the others uh and they don't uh they don't oh, affect uh, well, that's uh, somebody is, is speaking it in native language. Yeah, you're gonna have right. to you're gonna have uh, to translate that for us. Exactly that. <laughs> so uh, what 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 the lady is saying that uh, the sky is enough for everybody to exactly. to fly without touching each other, which exactly. is what I was trying to explain. Yeah. And but since this is African Day, I think we're free to use as many African languages as possible, so long as they interpret it. Absolutely. Thanks for that. Derek? Yeah, Molly, thank you so much. Um, you see, we all understand in our communities, I'm from the Caribbean, but uh, as somebody said to me today, uh, um, i trying to remember the exact thing. Uh, Britain is my home, so is the Caribbean, but Africa is my throne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> indeed, indeed, <laughs> right. indeed. So we understand the college industry concept, but we do something called salon surgery, um, yes. Molly and Dr. Laura, where we, we administer. So we use the natural ingredients to apply to the hair topically. But what we also do in addition, we, um, we use the ingredients that we use on the hair as a, as a, as a food, like a milkshake, if you like like a smoothie so we would so we would get together things like aloe vera we would get things together like share we'll get things like coconut oil mm -hmm. uh in many cases uh honey pure natural honey and we put it all together and we apply that to the hair scalp brother really talks about scalp care uh and it's important the scalp care the scalp must be cared because the hair is springing up out of the scalp and into the stratosphere and so what we then do, we blend all the goodies that we put on the scalp and we allow the customer to drink that. So the hair is being fed internally and is being fed externally. And as you talked about share being a superfood, so is coconut oil, so is castor oil. They're all foods, by the way, because I know that um, in Ghana and I'm sure in Nigeria, people use the share to fry and to cook and to bake and so on and so forth. And all hair products are indeed foods, aren't they? When you think of almond oil, argan oil, they're all yeah. food. Aloe vera. You know? people, yeah. Forget, yeah. people forget that they're food. Yeah. And so you, 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 sometimes I say to my client, don't focus too much on using the oil on your scalp. Have you considered drinking the oil? That would be much better for your hair as opposed, because in many cases, the, the, the skin cannot absorb um, oils readily, except for vitamin E. So vitamin E is e easily absorbed. And so you're better off sometimes drinking. So we provide it to our clients. Drink the, the hair product, drink your hair product as well as apply it to your, to your scalp to ensure yes. that you, you look after the hair. Because the hair shaft is dead, isn't it? So it's a scalp we must focus on. The hair shaft is dead. There's no life in the hair shaft. In fact, if you cut your hair, you will never feel any pain. <laughs> I think 
look at that. <laughs> that's a great analogy in terms of understanding, because that's, so, that's so clear, the, the clarity. Nobody's going to argue with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair can live for thousands of years. I mean, think yeah. of the mummies in, you know, exactly. in Egypt. They still got the hair on their heads after many thousands of years. So the key thing is to ensure that your scalp, your skin is maintained. And fundamentally, if you could drink the product, I the drink, and the share is wonderful because the share is a superfood. And so I'm sure at some point, Molly, we'll provide the entire gamut of what the share can do. We provide it to, your, to our customers as a food, as well as a hair, as cosmetic. Right. And on that note, folks, we, we're going to have to um, close off this session. And... Um, it's, it's been great. And going back to just very quickly, um, something that you said, Molly, about all the good products being available in Africa naturally. Is Africa not the Garden of Eden? Oh, well, yes, Africa is the Garden of Eden. Exactly. So, sure. so we shouldn't even be surprised. <laughs> we shouldn't be surprised unless we've forgotten something, that everything is there that we need. Yes, yes. And um, it is incumbent on days like this and dialogues mm -hmm. like this and community building like this yes, to right. expose it to a watching world. Yes. And uh, we all have a responsibilities at the current guardians, whether we're in the diaspora or we're native in Africa, or we're in the Caribbean, or we're in Atlantic. That's how much the African people have spread, spread across the globe. Mm -hmm. uh, it is our responsibility to always bring it back to the uh, beautiful, blessed continent of Africa and expose that to a watching world. So that's, that's my uh, summary. Brother Derek, we, we're going to have to make Molly one of the guardians of the Afro realm. You realize that? You know, uh, Dr. Laura and, and Molly, I mean, the, 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 you know, the passion. I just love the exactly. passion coming from these women. It's just wonderful. Exactly. And so, ladies, you know, we do, we, we, we always put the women first in our, in yeah. our brand. Women are always first. Yeah. <laughs> so that's excellent. So we've got two new inductees into the <laughs> Afro realm. Absolutely. the guardians of the afro realm we're pleased because it was just us two old geezers for so long <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, right, right and up the realm right and up the realm <laughs> excellent okay thank you very much everybody and a happy africa day to all and best wishes and see you all again soon thank you okay thank pleasure. you and thank, thank you for having us yeah. Thank Bye. you, Dr. Laura. Thank you, Brother Bye. Derek. And thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Lovely. Bye, everybody.